If you're watching this video, then I guess you are also desperately waiting for the big update of the Scenic app. And as I'm one of the lucky users who are currently testing the new update, I want to give you a little sneak peek of what to expect, what's coming up. And if you want to see this, then stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome to this episode and to a little premiere because this is the first time that I try to do a video in English. Usually I do all my content in German. So bear with me, I hope it will work out and it will be a little bit beneficial for you. So um, I want to give you a little sneak peek on the new big update of the Scenic app and as I uh, used to have a little problems with the uh, built-in screen recording from iOS um, this time I want to do this in my office at home so I have a little bit more relaxed situation regarding the screen recording and to figure out the right words for you so let's just switch to my home office and here we are so this time I picked the landscape mode for recording as I don't have anything else to show if you are interested how the portrait mode of the application looks like then you can check my German video um, I try to keep the same structure of the video so should, you should easily find the same uh, spots in the video than in this English version we directly start with the navigation screen so it has been way more cleaned up than in the last version from my point of view. At the top of the screen we just see the next instruction for your directions um, and just below a little preview of the instruction after the next. At the bottom left we have the current speed and bottom right we see some statistics about the current navigation. In the bottom right corner we also see this kind of semi-transparent button and pressing this one calls a kind of another button panel and this one holds quite a lot of interesting um, actions that you might require during your navigation and they are nicely sorted or ordered into certain columns if you're in portrait mode then obviously it's in rows uh, in this case the first column is all about uh, controlling this um, the navigation itself as well as this panel so we can finish the whole navigation we remove the planned route at, uh, for the moment and obviously close this uh, button panel again second column i think it's about media control or uh, honestly i never tested it so far as i don't hear any media while writing. The third column is about the voice of the navigation. So you can increase or decrease the volume as well as disable it completely. Then you have some control buttons I would say. So one is for the overview so we get a complete overview over uh, your planned route. The second one and this is actually the most interesting one from my point of view um, for all the people who have seen my tests last year actually they are German regarding applications for mo uh, motorcycle navigation um, I'm quite keen about this topic of dealing with roadblocks while you are navigating and now we have this feature in scenic 2 as well um, at the moment um, it works like when you press the button then simply the next 30 meters of your current route are blocked and Scenic will try to find a way around it. Um, from my point of view this is still something that can be improved. I already uh, tried to convince Guido, the developer of Scenic, about this and let's see if there is um, any improvement still before the final version of Scenic 2 will appear. Uh, third button in this uh, column is add photos so obviously scenic does track your route while you are navigating and with this add photo button you can add uh, take photos 
uh, during your ride and add it to the right position of your tracking so you have later on a complete yeah, memory of your ride including these photos the uh, second last column is about um, some features of the navigation screen so you can make sure it always switched to north up position at the moment or by default it follows your uh, current direction um, you can switch between 3d and 2d um, display of the map and the last button is for locking the device direction so if it's really going into a certain angle that it or that don't automatically flip the screen and finally the last column is um, yeah, three buttons for shortcuts that you can configure. So this new iOS feature shortcuts where you can add your custom shortcuts that you created to one of these buttons and easily call them. But let's get back to the navigation screen because there is another hidden gem on this uh, navigation screen and it's at the bottom right corner this kind of navigation statistic if you click on it then you get the list of waypoints that you're currently uh, planned or that is part of your route and here you can see another for me big improvement in the new version there's a difference between a simple wire point and a stop and the stops are really stuff that are also mentioned during the navigation so it will tell you okay you reached your stop or whatever uh, while these via points are simply used to make sure your route is going to a certain direction but they don't appear in this list there's also um, a simple um, statistics screen but that's not so important for us at the moment as well as some uh, resume and finish buttons again but the other interesting button on this screen obviously is the edit stop so this one will easily allow you to for example remove a stop if you see during the navigation okay uh, my uh, route or my journey is too long and I need to drop one of the uh, stop points and just go directly to the next one or to the target whatever in this case you just press the minus button beside the uh, stop and then it will be removed in the same way you can just add additional um, stops to your route by just pressing the plus button at the position where you want to add uh, a point and in this case for example by default you get all this kind of point of interest that are built into the app for example you want to have another fuel stop in your uh, journey so you press fuel and then you get a list of gas stations around you sorted by distance but a lot of times um, the next gas station is behind you on the route and this is not what you want to do you, you don't want to turn around you would prefer to have a gas station that is next on your route for example in this case you can easily call the map view and then all the gas stations are marked in the map and then you can easily just pick one that is directly on your route select it press the check mark and then it will be automatically included in your route so now we can simply just call the buttons again and use this overview that you can see okay now we have just an additional uh, stop in our route for example okay so now let's stop this navigation view and just check what's left so if you stop a navigation then usually you are able to save your um, tracked route in this case my um, recording was obviously too short as I didn't move during this demo and so I can just cancel it so let's have a look at the bottom we have this nice little main navigation the new one and let's start from the left side so the first topic is your personal statistics as well as your account stuff where you can log in and all this kind of stuff next point is the garage where you can add your motorcycles if you have more of them obviously it's quite interesting because you can um, pick a motorcycle when you start a navigation and then all the statistics are assigned to this motorcycle next point is the rights so these are your recorded rights and you can easily recall them and check where you have been 
and you can also reuse it for another uh, route let's say or another navigation um, next point this is the default screen and this one is used for um, a quick navigation let's say so you simply pick a target you can do this for example just by moving the map pressing and holding for a second on a certain spot and then you can easily add this as a target then you simply select your routing options so we have the stuff like a fast route a short route as well as the default one and efficient one and you have this simple options to avoid ferries tolls and highways the usual stuff and then you can immediately start Beside picking a destination on the map, you can also, of course, use this built-in list of point of interest, for example. Again, I just used the fuel stations. And again, you get a list of fuel stations around you and the possibility to uh, use the map. In this case, don't be confused if you click it and you end up on the initial screen. The whole... Um, points of interest that you selected are simply added to your uh, regular screen and there you can use it to define your target for example for um, going to this location and in this case you can even see you can add this as a stop or replace your initial target that you had at the moment all right next thing on the navigation is the routes um, actually this one i keep for later on and let's continue for the moment next one is locations there you can store uh, your own location so remember certain spots for example but also there is this option of having personal pui groups um, in this case i for example imported a certain list that is quite known in german so it's from a website called pasknacker.com uh, a little motorcycle enthusiasts game of uh, tracking certain points and i imported for example a list of german passknacker points uh, into my um, personal poe uh, poi group and so i can use this for um, yeah adding targets and so on we will see this also in a second next thing is import and there not so much has changed compared to version 1 of scenic um, the usual import options that are already available and last but not least we have the setting screen and as in version 1 this is quite extensive and for me quite a lot of uh, possibilities to configure the application and quite useful stuff i will not go into details on this screen um, actually, I'm planning to do a full tutorial video, mainly first of all in German again, but also I plan to use the English version of this tutorial as well. So if you are interested in this one, then please let me know in the comments below. Um, but now, as the last item that I want to show you, let's switch back to um, the routes and try to make a route planning. So simply go to the routes uh, section of the navigation and then just say create a route. So in this case you can immediately see this difference between the uh, waypoints. So we have wires and stops that we can add to the screen. And we have another nice thing that we can add and this is uh, with this kind of layers button at the uh, bottom right corner. You can add additional information to the map here like your locations if you have added ones or your personal PUIs and as I have some I will enable them and then I can immediately see them in the screen so here they are all these points from the list of 700 and now I can simply use them for uh, creating my route for example so I select one and I say I want to have a tour so I add this as my first stop done save I take this one as the next stop number two done save and let's add a third one this one stop number three done save and now let's keep my current position with this nice sniper tool 
and let's add this as start and target or destination of this route and now we already have a nice route for example but we can do even more on this screen so this one now really just uses the default routing behavior that you can see here in the options so we can make sure just to say we don't want to have highways we keep it as efficient doesn't change really much but maybe we want some more interesting stuff and in this case we can use this kind of an integration of uh, a certain website called Curviga.de which is specialized in finding really nice routes for motorcycle riders and this is kind of built into scenic so if you call this scenic option right here oh sorry this curvy uh, option right here on the left side then you are fully into this Curviga.de kind of uh, route planning or routing options and there are quite a lot more so I leave it on curvy for the moment but for example I say I want to make sure to not use unpaved road or narrow roads and I will also try to provide to uh, drive the same route and then I ask Scenic to get from Curviga.de some more curvy roads in this case we have uh, possible routing errors that we can check or ignore it for the moment and you, then you can see there's a way more curvy road that we or route that we now get and this is now and you can see the benefit of it this is now done using this via points and um, we still have our three main stops that we added to the route and all the additional planning is done via the wire points so now we can uh, use this as is or we can even modify it um, so this um, curvy stuff on the left side is really just some additional service that you can call but it's not directly influencing the um, routing options that you selected previously so now we can just save this one I just save it as my test 2 for example done save it so now you can open my roots and here is the saved one the test 2 and now you can easily see okay here is the plan route and it's just showing the stops that you really added and it's hiding all this wire points in between and from this point you can just start the navigation uh, load it and start and then you are on the navigation screen again and as usual you can call the waypoint list and here you can see here are all the stops that you planned and again you can do the usual stuff like adding or removing some waypoint or just write the route that you planned so that's it for the moment i hope it was a little bit helpful for you and help you wait for the big update patiently or make it even worse i don't know if so sorry um yeah and as mentioned in the video um i plan to do also an english version of my tutorial for the new app and if you are interested in this one then please let me know in the comments below there's nothing left to say for the moment and i will end my video with the usual quote and as i didn't have a proper english translation for it so far i just do it in german and just say übertreibt's nicht und genießt den scheiß und dann hoffentlich bis zum nächsten mal bye